Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. In this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop, I'm going to show you how to create a nice joint in a fin when we have two pieces of wood that come together. The way we're going to do this is we're going to bevel the inside edge of the pieces of wood so that when we bring them together, it's a very tight joint. We're going to need some tools for this, and our main tool is going to be a little table wedge like this. And these are really easy to make, and I just made this out of cardboard. And basically, I just cut two strips of, of cardboard like this, and the angle here is actually pretty critical. And that angle is half of the angle of the joint. So on this particular rocket, I made a 10 degree bend. So these are going to be five degrees. And I'll just glue those to the wood, uh, to the cardboard like this, and it creates a little table. Pretty easy so far. Um, the next step is to get a nice, nice table. You want to look around your house for a table that has a nice, big, wide edge to it. And, uh, and if it's a nice table, we actually want to put some tape on the end so that we don't scuff it up because we are going to be sanding this. So I'm going to take my little table wedge that I just made, and I'll just I'll just show you an example of what we're going to do here. Um, I want to take that and I want to slide it all the way up to the edge of the table so that the the balsa wood actually rests on the table, and then we're going to slide our wedge forward until the balsa just hangs over the edge, and we're going to knock off that edge with a sanding motion. Now, on your fin, you have the high point right here, and I've labeled that as the bottom. So this is this is the top, and I put a little mark on the bottom so I know which side is the bottom. And when we stick this on our table wedge, we want the bottom part facing upward. So again, I want to make sure it's, it's parallel to the uh, edge of my little wedge, and I want to slide it down so it rests on the table. I, you can feel it with your fingers when it hits the bottom of the table. And then slide the whole wedge forward so just the corner is on the edge of the table. And at that point, we can start sanding. And at the same time, I'm going to be pushing with my fingers forward so that I get a nice uh, flat edge all the way across the surface of the fin. Okay, and you can actually see this when you're... Uh, if it's, if it's smooth all the way across. So I'm, a, I'm smooth on this side, but I haven't quite gone all the way on that side, which means I've been pushing more this way than all the way across. So i got to go back and, and tweak this, this edge over here more than this side. This takes a little bit of practice, but it, it's pretty simple, and you'll get to hang it up pretty quick. Okay, so that one looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'll just do the same thing with the other part of the fin. Slide it to the table edge, and then slide it forward. You can see I'm actually holding that little wedge with my fingers so it can't slide around. So these two fingers are holding the table, and these three fingers are pushing the wood into the sandpaper. So that's, that's the technique. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'll have a gap, but once I bring them together, it should be my 10 degrees, because they're both angled at 5 degrees. And at that point, it's just a matter of gluing it up and attaching it to your rocket. So, 
in conclusion, I want you to come to the Apogee website because I really could use your help on something, and that is to take a look around my website and hopefully some, buy a few things. Um, and if you like these videos, let us know. Until next time, this is Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com.